everyone, my name is Linnea Lamont. And my name is Scarlett Lamont. And we're here representing our family business, the Steaming Tender Restaurant in Palmer, Massachusetts. And we would like to take this opportunity to thank you, Barstool Sports, and Mr. El Presidente for giving us the opportunity uh, to share our story. So here's a story of the Steaming Tender Restaurant, uh, our family business. So behind me is the Steaming Tender. It was the, built in 1884 by Henry Hobson Richardson. And so my dad stumbled upon this building in 1987. He was coming to Palmer, Mass to buy Model A parts. He loves old cars, we love old things. And so my parents purchased the building, turned it into a flea market antique business. And during that time, they were restoring the building. It took 17 years for them to restore. We opened as the Steaming Tender Restaurant in 2004, just as takeout. So let me take you on inside. So in the past, we were a bustling restaurant. Um, we were on a Friday, Saturday night. We were on a half hour, 45 minutes to an hour wait. Um, it was just so busy. The dining room, it was full. It was um, it just lively. lively. Yeah, exactly. It was... It's totally different from what it is so, now. You know, once we opened up outside, we were bustling outside. It was great. We expanded our outdoor dining, you know, but the weather doesn't last or forever up here in Massachusetts. You know, it does snow, but we're not going to fail. Yeah. Uh, and that's why we're here um, talking about it and not my parents. Uh, we're not going to fail. And, you know, we just want to do something to help our family out. And that's why we're reaching out to Barstool and the Barstool Fund. Um, we think that, you know, the initiatives that um, are, you're striving for, for small businesses is amazing and something we totally believe in because we know it's not just us. So we wanna do what we can, you know, let's make 2021 a better year, a better year, a year for hope and you know, for the future, for growing, not for shrinking, for growing. Well, we want to thank you so much, Barstool, for the opportunity, and uh, we hope to chat with you soon. Thank you. Thank you. I just recorded a video for you, about two hours long, but... Well, we spent two hours about... Yeah, and we just had a conversation with my mom right after the video, to discuss what we were doing and we decided that we'd share with you everything that she said because not only does ours come from the heart but hers is real it's real so she put her life into this and we wanted to show you what she had to say so here it is we can't afford to keep all of our staff on we're cleaning the toilets, we're doing prepping, we're, we're, we're checking in the, the, the food now. You know, we don't have the luxury or the payroll to pay everybody to do, to operate the restaurant. And every day is a new challenge. We don't know if we're gonna be busy or not busy. You know, you have the, the what the media is saying, you have the weather elements, you know, um, we have the restrictions, we have the gas, we have the insurance. We have total fixed accounts, you know, that we still have to pay. Yeah, I know. You know? Yeah, you know, I don't, we, I don't, we have to I don't go without think... a paycheck so we can pay our staff. I gotta, I gotta get going. We would fill our dining room. We had so many happy customers. We have all this space. We can't even utilize our entire space. I had a staff of 35. I am down to a staff of 10. You we know, have, to we have 40 at mom. We have like 20 or more people. We almost had about 50 yeah. people at one yeah. point. Yeah. We're down to three people in the kitchen, a part time dishwasher, and three servers. That's it. You know? You know, it's just the media, you know, we are we are safe. We have 35 foot ceiling. We pay for refrigeration, you know? The, you know, we don't know what to buy. You know, um, we've invested. We're, it's costing us more money. We have to buy more takeout. We have an online ordering system, you know, which we pay $150 a, a month for. But you know what? I mean, is everyone using it? No. 
Yeah, I know, Mom. You know, we we have increased our phone lines to you know for the calls coming in. So there's been costs. That's all we have. You know what, Linnea can make more. The first month was an eight hundred and ninety-five dollar freaking copies because we have to throw away the menus. We were doing colored. Now we don't want to do colored because it's too much money. You know what I mean? These are the types of things. Yeah. You know? You know, we we have the high ceilings, we wear gloves, we're very cautious on everything. The tables are six foot distance. Um, you know, we have protocols, you know, with the staff, we com with compliance, you know, we're doing everything in our power. But with the media and everything else, people are not coming. I know. I walk in and on a Saturday night, we're done. There's nobody walking in our doors after 6 o'clock, 6.30. We would normally have, the bar would be padded, we would have, be on at times an hour, could be depending on the weekend, a two hour wait. And people all over the place, enjoying, laughing, you know, it's not happening. How are we gonna survive? We have a big building to pay for. We have heat, we have oil, we have insurance. We have, um, you know, and employees out sick, we still gotta pay, you know, we gotta pay for them. We have to buy the food. We have to watch what we're buying because we have to make sure we buy product that moves, cross utilizing our in, uh, the products. We have to limit our, our menu. You know, there's so many things. I'm angry. <laughs> you know, it just pisses me off. Yeah. I never thought I would be in this position. So I'm pretty sure that's not what you expected to see. And we weren't planning on showing you that. But after we got done filming, we talked with my mom. And what you just heard her talking about is the conversation we had after. And she was expecting us to give our point of view on it. But we decided to switch it up a little bit and show her her side to you guys. And what she said was real. It's true. It's raw. And that's what we're going through here. We're going through so much here. We're here every single day. We're here from 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. People think like we're not here Monday through Wednesday when we're closed. We are. We're here all the time. This is our second home. And right now, we're struggling. Every restaurant is. But us, we put our whole lives into this restaurant. I grew up here. I was busing tables since I was like six. I, taking a gap year of my call of college i graduated graduated this year as a senior i'm taking gap year to help my family business and i'm hoping that you will be able to help us too so thank you so much and yeah